had a perfect opportunity to show you guys something that you get asked a lot and it's a pretty easy thing once you know it uh, check valves which way do they go in it's very simple now I can, it's too dark in here for me to show you exactly what it looks like on the inside but if you can see that see the circle there this is the wrong side this is the right side so let me see if I can get you a better picture or a better view let's see alright see there's the right side there is the wrong side alright so here's what I mean by that you got your flow out so from your block out so your pressure out okay you should be able the easiest surefire way to know is take your check valve take something small and just push in if you can push in on that little reservoir or the little metal piece that's on the inside if you can push in that is the side that the pressure goes to so the pressure comes out of the other side okay so pressure comes out of the block comes in here pushes that little thing open it pushes it this way and then when you're done hitting the switch the weight in the fluid will push back which at that time the little thing on the inside is pushing back this way which shuts it so that's why it's called a, a check valve it puts the fluid in check it says no you will not go back this way and another way to figure it out and I know this is crazy it's just nuts but there's an arrow on some of them that's nuts right who would have thought that they would think that's smart to put an arrow right there on them but not all of them have it some of them have some different looking stuff some of them have what looks like an arrow but it's actually some kind of some kind of straight and then two look and two of these and a circle okay those can be confusing so once again the easiest way to tell if you got your block right here and the pressure's coming out and you can stick the stick something small into it to move the spring it means that the pressure goes to the side that moves the pressure goes to the side that moves okay now here's what can happen if you put them on incorrectly see this this is called a pump head see this this is what's called a broken pump head the gear has sheared off good stuff right all right so just remember if you don't see an arrow and the directions are very unclear take something stick it inside there see if you can get it to move now if you're changing them out because you feel that one might be bad as cheap as they are you might as well just go ahead and replace the damn thing uh, you'll find out the hard way that as it slowly drops it's probably this now a surefire way to test a check valve is to lift the car completely and if you're hearing do 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 or it's dropping even faster what you want to do is close your slowdown just close them all the way if the car is still dropping chances are it's a bad check valve now if it stops then it's not a bad check valve that's something in your dump now this is all assuming that you don't see fluid leaking everywhere obviously if you see fluid that's a dead giveaway as to where it's coming from so anyway all right so there you go uh, y'all don't don't mess this up don't put them in backwards because if you do you'll blow up and you'll break a pump head if you hit the switch and you hear it and it literally stops right away you might have put them in backwards don't go any further uh, because it'll shear that thing right off in about two hits being backwards two to three hits it will 
break that thing clean off, especially if you have a cheap pump head. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped and subscribe, leave a comment if you like it. If you don't, keep going. Uh, otherwise, stay tuned for the next videos.